Hello again. This is Hayes Q. Jones, your DVD and Blu-ray baller on a budget. And this is HQ Videos for you. And the boy and I are at the Lexus shop getting the car serviced and getting it detailed. I'm just making sure they didn't leave any scratches on the hubcaps or anything. But well, today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be my pursuit of my search for a region free 3D Blu ray player. So, actually, even a couple of times to actually get it right and actually get one in house. And that's right, I actually got one. I kind of went a little crazy on the region B or region locked Blu rays and 3D movies. So, I'm going in for the ride. And uh, we'll see where this takes us. Okay, I'm a little excited about this. This is a Samsung region free 3D Blu ray player. And normally these run at least a couple hundred dollars new. So, just gonna be using it for a small amount of video so for 60 bucks and I think it's a pretty good deal so and I'll do maybe an unboxing when I get this in the mail yeah. no but it's not even in Georgia yet it's still in transit when you see a destination scan that means it's in Georgia being sorted at the hub that normally delivers it That's good. That's good. That's not something that changed until the destination. You already did that before, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, like I said, to change the address where you had it. This lying motherfucker. The seller who sold me this on eBay assured me this was a region free because I specifically asked that. Sure, it's a region free. Lying fucker. This is going back. Yes, it is finally here. My multi region Blu ray 3D player. So I can play my region free 3D Blu ray movies. So, let's see what they have in here. And these are the last of the last. They don't even make these anymore. I purchased this from Amazon and I believe. They have two left, so after this, I believe we only have two left, 
and I believe on eBay they might have one, but those were way too expensive on eBay. Get this out. Okay, this comes with the standard remote control, batteries, very nice, comes with the HDMI cable, and this is the actual unit itself. So let's hook this puppy up and see what it can do. Let me get my Region B 3D movie and I'll show you what happens when you play it in a normal Region A player. And you get that nasty message, la zone de fautre, lecture, n'est pas compatible avec ce blu ray. All right, let's see what it looks like in the region free one. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay, maybe I should read the directions first and see if it works that way. Let's try it this way. Turn on the unit. Open the tray. I want region B. Hit number two. The unit will power off automatically and restart from the selected region. Now it can be played. Let's see. Let's try this again. Eject. Play. and let's see what it does what it do make it do what it do it's a good sign uh... okay it works I'm waiting on this package so I can finish this video. Got a couple more imports and region B's coming in. So I kind of want to do a cohesive video with all of them together. So, here in the garage, waiting on the mailman. I think I hear the mailman coming. Actually, we have a mail lady. Come on, mail lady. Bring my movies. God, it feels nice out. This is gonna rain. But the 
the usual weather has been extremely hot for the past couple weeks, like 90 plus. Like devil passed out on the floor hot. Here's our male lady. See, the male lady just left, dropping off. Bam! Packages. So let me spray these packages down. We'll go into the Black Cave and you'll see my collection of Region B imports in 3D movies. Hold tight. Got my Wesley Snipes here. About to open this up. and see what we got in here. Let's go. Okay, we are back at the Black Cave. I have everything together. I'm gonna to scan these in and we're going to go over these one by one. Hold on. Okay, I have everything is scanned into my CLZ Movies app. And honestly, I get this a lot probably because the way I speak, it's CLZ Charlie Larry Zebra Movies. That's the app that I use to scan in my movies. So now that you have that, let's get into this and I'll get you guys out of here. Hold on. Okay, we started with aviation. I'm tripping a little bit. I thought this was a uh, glare. It's actually in the picture. Um, actually, this and this came as a set for this one this for some reason this one didn't scan in um, check it out real like the first minute 30 seconds of it. it looks somewhat cool i have to check it out more in depth this is aviation in 3d and i don't know if it says region zero but it will play in my regular blu-ray player so aviation 3d the one that came with it, The Good Years, a documentary. This one actually came with two discs. I just have this nice little insert, a piece of the envelope from the Good Year blimp. That's pretty cool. Uh, I actually thought the actual documentary was in 3D, which it's not, but the bonus footage is in 3D. They kind of put a little okie doke on me there. Uh, this goes in and out of the 3D. I'm a regular player, but when I played in the region free player, it plays great. So I'm going to call the guy. Plus, I think these are copies, as you can actually see. I think he, these are like Fugazis. But he did a pretty good job on the artwork. So I'm going to keep them. I'm not going to bitch too much. And it was a reasonable price, so I'm not going to bitch too much. The Good Years. Bookumentary. Next we have an Italian import. Uh, just a little the Ultimo Imperator. Uh, the last emperor. Uh, this is an Italian import. I, I just glanced at this and I have to admit I was not impressed by the 3D or the picture. The picture looked grainy and the 3D was rather unimpressive. So I'm not sure if this was just like a bootleg, Italian bootleg, or what it seems legit. Everything looks legit, but the picture was just very unimpressive. 
but I haven't watched the movie. I haven't watched the regular one, let alone the 3D one, so I can't tell you how the movie is. But I'll give it a chance again and check it out. The Last Emperor. Next, this is a Region B. This is not 3D, just a regular Region B Blu-ray play, uh, Blu-ray movie. I wanted the Shout version of this as a double feature of Carry and this, Ra the Rage Carry 2. But since that's out of print, I think on Amazon they want like $60 for it. And I think on eBay, I think the lowest I can find like $30, $40. So this is much cheaper than the import of the Rage. And I just watched it. Nice little throwback for me because I haven't seen this in years. And the reason why I put this in there, this is actually a copy of the VHS version of the Rage I used to have. Again, I had so many VHS, I had to sell some of them. The reason why I kept this, there are actually some uh, trailers that are on the VHS that are not on the Blu-ray. So, just a little bit of useless, useless information I thought I'd share with you. This is the Rage Carry 2. That's the back art. And that's actually the, the cover that was on the DVD. Let me pull this out. That's the original cover, I guess, of the uh, the American version. And I guess this is the UK version. The Rage Carry 2. Next we have some more Region B 3Ds, Hybrid 3D. I watched this, this is just okay. It was, it was a decent movie. Uh, this guy, I can't think of his name offhand, but if you ever saw the television show, the Showtime television show, The Cell, or uh, I believe he was in one or two seasons of 24 with Kiefer Sutherland. So he's the only one I really knew out of that movie. But it was an entertaining 3D horror. It's, I, I'd equate it to the movie Stephen King's Christine, just not as good. Hybrid 3D. Next, we have Hidden 3D and Stereoscopic 3D. I don't know what the hell that is. I haven't watched this. I saw the trailers for it, and it looked pretty cool. It looked entertaining. It looks like it has some pop-outs, some things flying at you. So I get the opportunity to check this out. Hidden 3D. Next, we have Apocalypse Earth. Starring Adrian Paul of the Highlander, and this is going to be a throwback for uh, anybody 40 and older, Richard Grieco of 21 Jump Street. So you know this is probably a, a C, C rated version movie, a C rated version movie. Uh, it is an asylum, so fortunately it was, it was cheap enough for me to buy, you know, I, I can imagine the storyline and the production is pretty much low budget but again I like my 3D movies and hopefully and if nothing else this will be entertaining Apocalypse Earth next we have Detective D I actually have this regular Blu-ray but I don't have it in 3D uh, only drawback to this which I didn't pay attention when I got this the language is all I believe it's Mandarin and there's no subtitles but again I have the English version and I pretty much got it for the the visuals this is a outstanding very scenic colorful very bright vibrant movie so I wanted to see it in 3D Detective D next we have Cloned. I actually remember getting this from Redbox when it first came out and just never watched it. Uh, not a bad 3D movie. It's entertaining. Uh, probably the best 3D scenes are probably the rain that came down. Other than that, it was just okay. But unfortunately, I can't get the, the regular version of Cloned on DVD or Blu-ray. And an American version, not 100% positive. So it was basically cheaper for me to get the 3D UK version. Cloned. Next, we have Alone in the Dark 2, the sequel to Alone in the Dark with um, 
Slater. I can't think of his first name right now. Is it Christian Slater? I think it's Christian Slater. Anywho, uh, Alone the Dark 2, The Uncut Virgin. I haven't seen this, so I don't know how good or bad it is. I, I watched Alone the Dark just uh, a couple weeks ago, and that wasn't a great movie. I, I understand why I didn't go to Blu-ray. I had to get the uh, Asian version of that. But Alone the Dark 2, the Blu-ray, uncut version. Next, we have Night of the Living Dead. I haven't seen the Night, Night, Night of the Living Dead reanimation. I know there are import 3D. I haven't seen this. I uh, just popped in a few seconds of it. The 3D looks okay. It looks like an entertaining zombie movie. I'm not expecting anything spectacular, but hopefully it's entertaining. Night of the Living Dead reanimation. And I've been waiting to watch this. I actually saw this in the theater with the family. Uh, I believe this was actually shot in 3D. And I think it's like 60 frames per second or something like that. Which gives you a more realistic view. I did pop this in and it does look amazing. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a television. So I'm looking forward to watching this whole the whole thing again in 3D. When I saw it in the theaters, uh, they didn't have 3D av available. So... Did not get the opportunity to see it 3D in the theaters, but more than happy to see this at home. Gemini Man with Will Smith, without Jada. I had to throw that in, I'm sorry. Um, next we have, never even heard of this before. Uh, just running across looking for obscure 3D movies and ran across this. Keanu Reeves and some chicks that I've never heard of and never seen of threesome in 3D and I saw the reviews I heard mixed reviews that the movie's pretty awful but again I was just it's more of a morbid curiosity I've never heard of this movie so and it's in 3D and it's Keanu Reeves I like Keanu Reeves so looking forward to watching this just out of morbid curiosity next we have a movie I have seen a while ago really interesting Storyline predestination with Ethan Hawke, Noah Taylor, and Sarah Snook. Another import, Region B. And you have a nice artwork on the disc. And it's just a flip of that. Drops it. Predestination. Then we have Daybreakers. Again, I saw this in regular 2D, so I've seen it in 3D. I just popped it in real quick. The 3D looks pretty cool. With Ethan Hawke, Willem Dafoe, and Sam Neill. I'm not that familiar with Isabel Lucas. Um, vampire, kind of a different vampire type of flick. I'm not going to ruin too much by telling the, telling the plot, but just a different type of, of vampire flick, and I'll leave it at that. Like the love the artwork on the on the disc, very different. And the inside work is just a flip of the outside work artwork. Daybreakers. And lastly, we have the trilogy of Cabin Fever, all in 3D. You have Cabin Fever Patient Zero. Oops, so which one comes first? Okay, I think it goes like this. Not positive, I think it goes like this. Cabin Fever. And yes, they are English, even though the artwork, I think, is in Dutch. I did check them out. Just check, go to the audio and change the language to English. And 3D is pretty cool too. It's Cabin Fever. There's Cabin Fever 2. The Innkeepers. There's Cabin Fever 2. Why do you say the Innkeepers? See, I have no idea what that means. Innkeepers and VHS. I don't know if those are the trailers on there. When I watch it, I guess I will figure that out. Cabin Fever 2.
And lastly, cabin fever three, patient zero. And I think I've seen cabin fever and cabin fever patient zero. I don't think I've seen cabin fever two. So again, maybe just have one of those cabin fever marathons and check these out in 3D. Hopefully it doesn't give me a huge headache from watching all that 3D at one time. But this is my import region B 3D madness that I have. Uh, give me a second, let me free these disc and artwork from the plastic and we'll finish up in just a minute. Hold on. Okay, I have the artwork and the disc laid out and the plastic ready to be disposed of. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Please like, share if you haven't subscribed yet. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. Help me reach 1,000 subscribers. If nothing else, give me the big thumbs up. Doesn't cost you anything. It takes less than a second. So hit that thumbs up. Other than that, 